Hi guys, it's Pippa here from Maverick Coffee. I hope you guys are good. Today we're doing a really short video on how to make an awesome cold brew at home without any fancy tools. All you need is a cafetiere. Um, if you don't have a cafetiere, you can pick one of these up from uh, the supermarket or most kitchenware um, or home stores for like 10 or 20 pounds. So it's not a lot of money and um, you can have some awesome coffee at home from this. We have just ground our coffee um, and we're using a coarse grind. So if you don't have a grinder at home, if you can get coarse, um, a coarse grind on your coffee, then that's better. Most cafes will grind it for you and they'll ask. You can ask for a coarser setting. Um, what we're doing today is we're using a ratio of seven to one. So that's seven parts water, one part coffee. And we're gonna make it really simple. We've got a one liter standard large cafetiere. And uh, so we're gonna use 700 mils of water ideally filtered water, but if you've just got tap water, that's fine. And 100 mils of coffee, which is the equivalent of 100 grams. So, really simple. We're gonna pour all of the 100 grams of coffee into the cafetiere. It looks like quite a lot. It is quite a lot of coffee, but it is a concentrate, so. So now we're gonna do 700 mils of water. So I'm just gonna measure it out with my jug. And we're going to do another two. Perfect. I'm going to try and cover all of the grounds so they're wet as much as I can when I'm pouring, just to make sure that they all get covered in water. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a spoon just to lightly uh, wet it under the water. I'm not going to mix it. And just to make sure it's all completely covered. So it's just all looking lovely and wet. Cool. We're gonna put the lid of the cafetiere on and we're not gonna plunge it. All we're gonna do now is uh, let that sit. And we're gonna let that sit for about 12 hours, 12 to 16 hours. Um, you can play around and test it. It depends on the, on the coffee um, and the roast and how strong you like your coffee. Everybody's got a different taste. We, um, this was cold water, by the way, just, just room temperature water. You don't need hot water to put into this. Um, and you don't need to put this in the fridge. This can just sit at room temperature for 12 hours or so. So we'll leave it there for now and we'll come back in 12 hours and um, we'll finish the video. Okay, so 12 hours has passed. Um, I've slept, woken up, and I'm ready for my cold brew. So we've let this just sit for 12 hours um, overnight, like I said, uh, room temperature just on the side. Um, this is a concentrate, remember. So what I'm gonna do, I like my cold brew cold, so I'm using ice as my as my water, and I'm just gonna let the, the coffee, um, the ice melt, uh, which will naturally dilute the coffee. So I'm plunging it. And there we have our pretty awesome cold brew at home using a cafetiere. So it's going to be quite strong until the ice melts. Oh, that's really good. Um, what you can do if you like your milky, your coffee milky, is you can also some, some milk in there. We're using oat milk today. Lovely. And then uh, a thing to remember is the left of the leftovers of your cold brew coffee. If you keep um, this sitting in here uh, for any longer, it's going to keep brewing and it's going to turn. Uh, it's going to taste a bit nasty. So I'm um, going to use a jar and pour the leftovers of the cold brew. into here it doesn't look like a lot but remember it is a concentrate so you'll get a few glasses out of that and then I'm going to pop that in the fridge and keep that fresh yeah it's going to stop that stop that brewing so there you have it cold brew at home using your cafetiere I hope you enjoyed <laughs> 